it is the Thursday night. I've got Damien Cavanagh, I've got Dan Austin, I've got Sean O'Donnell, and uh, Dan will get into all the obvious bits and pieces. But first and foremost, it's been a tough season. I'm going to go all the way back. Did you enjoy it against Arsenal last weekend? I enjoyed the second half against Arsenal. Yep. Um, I just, I, lads, I'll just take 45 <laughs> minutes of you being happy at this stage. Yeah, yeah I, I will take that as well. Um, what, what I actually did enjoy about the second half more than like the football and everything was the atmosphere but like the way it really songs no um, we were in the main anyway which isn't, isn't common it, it, it wasn't songs it was just 45,000 people just shouting as, as loud and as hard as they could yeah. um, and it's been a really long time since since that last happened and I like when the ground just feels really angry um, the, the result didn't really matter I don't think um, like whether Liverpool lost Drew or won. I don't think it really makes any difference in the grand scheme of things to like what the end of the season will look like, really. But the fact that everyone just really wanted something good to happen yeah. um, and shouted it on, and, and and I would argue made it happen really by shouting um, and and getting up Arsenal a little bit, just felt good. Um, and I'll take that. That to me meant an awful lot more than the points. It meant an awful lot more than the idea of even the three points and, and coming back and winning three two. It was more just that everyone got to feel like we're fucking giving it to someone here <laughs> for once, rather than just being irritated by the people that we're supposed to like and love. <laughs> mm. uh, Irritated by the people we're supposed to like and love. Uh, Liverpool Football Club decided yeah. to find different ways to do that this week. Yeah. Um, somehow, lots of people wrote the same story about Jude Bellingham not going to Liverpool all at once. Um, and that one is then out there. Do you think this is a negotiating thing? Do you think this is legit? Do you think it could be a bit of both? Do you think Jude Bellingham's going to play for Liverpool? Were you desperate for him to play for Liverpool? Everything you've just suggested all, 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 <laughs> all feeds into exactly where they are. Everything everywhere yeah. all at once. I mean, our WhatsApp group's great, but as soon as that broke, I have stayed the fuck off that because it's so honest. <laughs> <laughs> <God. laughs> the, the strength of emotion over something that might happen that's been speculated somewhere when we've seen this dance before, and we just don't know. We just don't know. Um, the shows that you do with Gutman and that are great um, because it's sort of like well okay if the money's all in with Bellingham for example that really does solve loads of problems and he's a player we'd love to have but if we don't spend it on that it means we can spend it on a couple more players and there's more more than one correct solution because it's not maths you know what I mean it's, it is, there's a few things that's doable but heads are literally falling off as if somehow now Liverpool had secured Bellingham and he was signed and now because they played crap over the last couple of weeks and the journalists have said it now Liverpool have now lost him as well yeah. do you know what I mean when they, you know who knows what the answer is in there yeah I'd love to see him uh, play for Liverpool I'd love to see Liverpool show that ambition I think he'd be so exciting to watch um, you've got to think of it in the other terms of how much would you like to see him playing against us is that going to make it harder for us next season I'm not interested in that yeah that's, 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 that's going to be a tough one um, so yeah, it's hard, isn't it? I, I don't know any better than the next person, but I, I just I, what's the point in getting so excited about it? You know, if if, if this lad is going to sign for us, he's going to sign for us for all the right reasons. And if it is like I've been a Liverpool fan all my life, and I would love to have played for Jurgen while he had that team. And if you're going to go for one year in the Europa League, I'm not asked anymore. Is it the sort of character you want at the club anyway? You know, so there's so there's so many different things, you know. And then why should he spend his career? or spent even one season of his career playing at a level lower than he should be playing at. I get all the complications of it. Things are moving all the time, aren't they? So it's just, it's so hard to talk. I, I probably find this sort of conversation the most difficult when I'm talking about footy. I do as well, but for me, one of the things around it, Sean, is I think it's all about time. Yeah. I think money's obviously a factor, but I think time is a thing where, in the report, one of the lines that was that interesting was, and he might not move anyway this summer. And I'm a bit like, well, hang on, that's just sort of now appeared. Mm, so there's yeah. another variable. Then there's the idea of with Dortmund you've seen in the past with United, for instance, and Sancho. They like to set a deadline themselves. Mm. But I reckon our deadline is sort of earlier for what we want to do. Yeah. So we don't want to get into a lin who's going to be our linchpin signing situation. And we don't have an answer to that mid-June when we've got to sort all the other bits and pieces out. And that's there as a time thing. I think there's a... But for me, there's also a timing thing. This story yeah. is broken. The manager is now going to have to answer questions on it on his press conference on Friday mm. that I'm sure he can't be bothered with. Yeah. The timing of it to me also just seems really, really odd. You can just say you're not getting Bellingham after you bought three midfielders, surely. But the senior Liverpool supports are also saying this mm, and this. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by the time bits, the bit that's in my head. I can't get out of my head. It's weird. It's weird, and you know, there's a, there's a number of reasons why it's weird. Um, for me, 
you know, there's, there's absolutely no need to come out and publicly say we are not signing somebody. Doesn't matter who it is. There's just no need to say it. Mm. So it, it's it's a message to someone. It's a negotiation tactic to someone. Go on, sorry, you gonna say something? Or? No, go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's so for me, it is a tactic. It's a tactic to to, to maybe say to Dortmund, you know, the player wants to come to us. Your price is too high. Whatever it may be. Um, the reason I think it's weird and and a little bit worrying is that you know as it's being plastered over Twitter for you know however long the last few days is that's been our tactic before. And like, you know, surely with negotiation, you need to think a little bit differently. Don't do the same things all the time. YouTube, press the button. Become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. The best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day. It is the Anfield Wrap.